Second year of the hemp pilot program, more than 2,000 people signed up for permits to either grow or process the crop. Well, that's more than a 500% increase from last year, but could that be a savior for farmers dealing with low prices on their other goods? Amy Reed spoke to farmers. She joins us now with the answer. Amy? What a jump. And what's interesting is almost 90% of those people applying to grow hemp would be first-time growers. It's exciting a lot of farmers, and I guess soon to be farmers, but experts are warning there's a long way to go before that excitement is deserved. We're in such a learning stage right now. We're learning, we're certainly learning how to regulate it. Um, farmers are learning how to grow it. When it comes to hemp in Wisconsin, there's a lot to learn. But if the registration for the hemp pilot program is any indication, there's a lot of people willing to take it on. I think there's probably, they've been waiting for this for a long time. Donna Gilson works for the Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection, the organization in charge of the hemp pilot program. Today, her agency said nearly 2,100 people apply to grow or process industrial hemp this year, a huge increase from the 347 who did last year. But what that will look like is hard to know. If I could make that kind of prediction, I'd be making a lot more money than I do. Even for the people who research agriculture, like Paul Mitchell, he said a lot of this knowledge will have to come from these farmers, like where to buy seeds, how many seeds to plant to get a good yield, and how to take care of the crop to make sure it's still okay to sell. For instance, in order for the hemp to still be legal, the THC Sea level must stay below 0.3 percent, and some factors in growing will alter that. Fertilizer is a big one. Too much fertilizer, the crop gets too hot. The THC gets above the required uh, minimum that's needed for um, to maintain its status as industrial hemp. If you break that limit, you become um, you have to do a crop destruct. He said it's a hard thing for farmers to have to do, and last year in the program, 7% of farmers had to destroy their crop. He also said with such high interest in a new opportunity, farmers need to make sure they don't oversaturate the market with the crop, or else it won't pay off. It's why he said it's a good thing to research, but not necessarily a good thing to bet on. There's a place for hemp in Wisconsin. I don't know if it's going to save us from, you know, the current low prices on a lot of our commodities. But even though the list of unknowns grows long, regulators still think it's worth it to try. I think we just, we, we need to take it very seriously that there's a high level of interest in this crop and, and we need to, you know, do what we can to make, help these people be successful. You might be wondering what caused such a large spike in the number of people interested. Well, with the Farm Bill, industrial hemp was removed as a controlled substance. The Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection said that brought in a lot of people who previously were scared off. Amy Reed reporting tonight. Amy, thank you very much.